Our last question for today goes to Paula from CHNETV in Shetty Camp. Go ahead, Paula. Thank you. What is the government doing to support rural hospitals, hospitals who have fewer resources? So I, th I think you got to understand that uh, rural hospitals are part of the Nova Scotia Health Authority. And so uh, the Nova Scotia Health Authority is looking at how we make sure that across the province, uh, that's why we have six COVID units in all of our regional hospitals. So they're well aware and they're building capacity across the province uh, of appropriate access to, first of all, COVID testing, and then and then and hospitalization through our regional hospitals where we have the, our, our, the capacity and the appropriate uh, uh, training for staff, et cetera, that we can build this network of COVID treatment units. So regional hospitals are part of the whole NSHA uh, organization, and they're planning from a provincial perspective. Paula, do you have a follow-up question? Yes. Um, are people who have not traveled abroad or people who, have, who are not in contact with them, are they being tested? And if not, how do you know that you don't have any community-related cases? So as I've answered earlier to a similar question, we are uh, we have our ongoing influenza surveillance, which looks for signals of, of, of uh, increased respiratory activity in communities that we would do COVID testing on. We are now, we are testing anybody who is in a hospital that uh, regardless of travel or not, if they clinically indicates that they, that they might have a, a, an, a, an acute respiratory infection, we're along with other things like influenza testing, where we're testing for COVID-19. And we're also now, uh, as I outlined earlier, we're now testing anybody who's identified by public health as a close contact, uh, and we're going back to our very first case. We are working with those contacts. They don't have to go through 811. We'll work with them to directly get them into one of the COVID assessment centers and, and do testing, and we're actively looking at, at ways that we further expand out in, into that community testing where it's not just based on travel.